Hello everyone. Welcome to HappyMed.com. So today we will talk about how to look the confidence interval using our quality data. So please look at the following example. So using the following data, construct a 95% confidence interval. Okay. So this time uh, we will use data tool here. So if you click data, then you will see data analysis tool here. If you don't have it, then simply click File, and then go to Options, and then you will see Add In option here. Go to Add In, and just click Go, and make sure you choose those two, two uh, those two, those two, and click OK. Then you will have this data tool, or uh, data analysis tool on your Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so now. We want to construct a uh, confidence interval using data analysis tool on Excel program. So click that. Now click descriptive statistics. Then now it will ask you input range. Input range is all data. So I'm going to just click here and then to select all the data set. Okay. And then I'm gonna uh, display my uh, statistic data on the same window. So I just click minimum three blank here and make sure okay. click summary statistic and count this level of mean. So this time we are finding 95%. So I keep 95. If you wanna find out 90%, just switch 90. You want to do 99%, then click 99% like that. Okay. But this time we are doing 95%, so I keep 95%. And okay. Then as you see, my um the statistic summary is right here. So make like that. Then now I have a mean value and median mode and standard deviation and also confidence level error. So that equal to actually marginal error so using this table set i'm going to find out lower marginal limit value also upper marginal limit value and then So lower marginal means mean minus marginal error. So click equal sign, use that, click mean minus marginal error, enter. Then this is this become our lower limit value and upper marginal limit. So click equal sign and then mean plus marginal error. So that's the our confidence interval value. Therefore, now we can conclude the 95% confidence interval is 23.7435 and 27.7899. That's it, basically. Okay? I hope this video uh, assists you how to construct 95%, I mean, the just complex interval using data analysis tool on Excel program. And then I'm going to see you with a different topic later. Okay, bye.